guys welcome back uh, this is just a quick video that I wanted to show you guys something that I was thinking about and working on and this is a pen loop but it is a hidden paper clip I saw these um, tabs on Timu because I was looking around so it'll go on your page like this this isn't an actual pen but um, it's the shape of a pen the size of a pen There you go. And you can put it on a journal and move it anywhere. You know, you can put it at the top if you wanted to. On the side, on this side. You know, <clears throat> of a page or whatever. But I'm going to show you how to make it real quick. But they had them and they glued on. But I thought, hmm, I wonder if you could make them to where they were a paper clip and could be removed easily. And you can. So you're just going to take two pieces of cardstock. Doesn't matter what color or anything. I inked around them. Uh, because I don't know if you can tell. But you can kind of see a little bit of the white core from the paper on the inside there. So if you didn't want to see that. So I, you know, it doesn't matter which direction you put the paper clip. Whether you put the skinny side up front or back or whatever. Because it's going to be closed. Then on the other uh, paper you cut a little slit in the middle because that's where this is going to come through so you're going to fold it in half and pop it through the hole both pieces that this part's the only fiddly part okay Alright, and then you're going to take some fabric glue, and you're going to pull that one up, and then glue this one down, okay, just like that. Then you're going to place this over the top. Put glue all the way around it. Now you can adjust this a little bit more and you'll know, put that in the middle if you want. Okay. Then you're going to glue the other side down. And then what I did was just take a couple of clips <clears throat> and put on each side to hold it in place for a few minutes. <coughs> Excuse me, so it would adhere. And then I took a corner rounder, which is the quarter inch side, that's the side. That's the only side that works on my crocodile chomper. The only one that wasn't messed up. And then just chomped it off. I'm going to try a regular corner rounder and see if it actually works. But I'm going to wait a couple minutes for that to grab real quick. Um, but you might need to just trim around it with scissors if you don't have one of these. I don't know yet because I haven't tried the uh, regular corner rounder yet to see if it works. Move some stuff out of my way. I got a drawer over here that's got my corner chomper in it. That may not 
go in. Not super well, but I'm using the large side on the corner rounder part. And then I'll re-ink around that part there. So you don't see around that. Alright. And then it should <coughs> ideally Just slide on and of course then you can decorate it however you want to you know whether you want to put a like a say a flower on it or a label or maybe both like something like that maybe on the front side I would probably leave the back side kind of flat and that way it's not too bulky or anything Whoops. And there we go. So just a quick and easy little page tab um, pin holder. Made with a little piece of um, <clears throat> elastic. And if you don't have elastic... Um, one of these type of like pony wraps or whatever should be able to work because it's stretchy and these only cost a dollar at the dollar store but you know you can cut it down to size and then pop it in you know to work just as long as you got you know just kind of maybe measure it around your pin so like maybe a small piece like that because they stretch kind of far. Um, uh, and you could ideally also just, I would still use the cardstock, but you can cover the cardstock with material then after you get the paper clip covered if you don't, if you want a fabric one or like a faux leather one or whatever the case is. So I'll probably just leave this one plain and put it in the journal, um, the grungy journal since it's kind of grunged up and this was just some Tim Holtz scraps that I had so yeah and of course you can um, ink around that if you don't want it white so I'll do gathered twigs on this one since this one is brown course you may also want to um clip it up here until it's fully dry so it doesn't come out but so i'll just leave that off to the side but yeah just a quick video to show you guys how to do that and um, the idea came to me the other day and i thought i would give it a go and it works so that that's it for me guys oh when we come back we'll be um making some journal cards i got some I made a master board and cut them down, but I got to decorate them, so. And then uh, we'll be working on pockets and stuff. Because I'll have to do some more, some more pockets for the journal. And then we should be ready to um, 
start putting it together and then on to the next project all right guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys back here again really soon bye